First, we are going to write the assembly language program to perform the addition of two 8-bit numbers. Here, the name represents the name of the module. Here, it is addition. So, next one is page. Page assembler directive is used to represent the number of lines and the characters per line. Okay, to be used in that program. This 52 and 80 are the standard values for this 8086 microprocessor. Then the title. It represents the specific title of the program. That model represents whether it is a small or a big kind of program. We have to initialize the stack segment. This data represents the data segment where we are going to store the actual data to be used in this program. So we are going to add two numbers. So we can get the first number as byte. We are going to add two 8-bit numbers. 8-bit means here the data type is byte. Okay. The first value is 36. It is stored in the data segment. And the second number is 21H. That is also stored in the data segment. Do you all understand? This data represents the data segment. So, it allocates some memory locations to the data. There is one more data called as sum. Okay, that is nothing but the output of that addition. So, we are going to reserve the location, memory location for this output. Here, the data type is word. Word means to byte. If we are going to add to 8-bit data, the output may be 16 bits. That's why we can reserve word type. Okay, word is nothing but double byte. So, after allocating the data, we have to start that program. So, here the code represents the program instruction. Okay, so it initializes the code segment here. So, let's start with the label start. The first instruction is to move the data to this AX register. AX means accumulator register. Okay, so here we can move the AX to this DS. Here this data represents the data segment location. Okay, that has to be given to this data segment. So we are going to initialize this data segment using the instruction. After that we can get the first number and move that number to this AL register. And then get the second number and add the second number with this first number stored in the CAL register. Then the result will be stored in this AL register. If there is any carry, then we can add that value with this AH register. Okay. Then we can move this AX register which is having AH data as well as AL data to this sum. Sum is the double byte memory location. So, we can store the output into this memory location in data segment and then we can end the program. Do you all understand this? Next, we are going to write assembly language program to find a number in the array. So, here the name of that module is find a number. Page number as you all know that 52 comma 80. Title is to search a number in the array. Okay, then start that model and then initialize the stack segment data. So, the data is representing the data segment where we are going to store the data. Okay, so here we are going to get array of data. So, we can start with this array. Data type is byte. 8-bit data we are going to get. Okay, the data values are directly given in this array. These values are going to store in this data segment. Okay. 32, 41, 3B, 76, 12. This all are the 5 data in the given array. Next we are going that data is SER underscore NO. That means search number. So we are going to store the search number into that data segment. Position of that search number. Okay. If it is present. In the fifth position, then we have to identify that position as like that. That is the output here. So, we have to reserve that location for this position. After that, we can start that code segment. Code segment means instruction. Let's start that program. Move AX comma 
at the rate of data. That means we have to get that memory location where we are storing that data. That is to this AX register. Then we can move that AX value to this DS register as well as ES register. It is X. Okay. So here we are going to initialize data segment as well as extra segment. Okay. So then we have to initialize the counter because we are going to search one by one in the array. Okay. So how many searches are going on based on that we can find out the position of that number. Correct. So for that we can initialize this counter and then we can initialize the data index pointer using that array values. Okay. So we have to get the first data from this memory address. Then we are moving this search number to this AL register. We have to clear the direction flag. So once the search number is identified in the array, we can enable this direction flag. Okay. So this instruction is very important in this search operation because it is going to find out that search position of the given number in the array. REPNE means what? Repeat if it is not equal. Okay, repeat if it is not equal. SEAS means scan the number or search the character in the given array. Okay, so that is what given here. If it is not equal, we can again process the same thing okay so here data in the array is 5 that has to be moved to this al register and then subtract this counter register from this al okay once it is found okay then we can move that al to this search position that is the answer here do you all understand